Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing great. Today we are out and about on an adventure. We're going on a road trip. We're taking a trip down Barbies. We don't know what this day holds but we're hoping for something fun. <laughs> Alright? And as you can see we have a full crew in the back there. Yes, that's my cousin Priscilla. I have my aunt Savitri. I have dad who always like to stay home and don't like come out. <laughs> so we managed to get him out today. And I have my grandparents in the back. And of course over here, my husband Singh. Hello guys. Yes. So we're hoping to have a fun filled day. So come along with us on this beautiful journey and let's enjoy. This tree that is situated at the middle of the road here is called a silk cotton tree. As long as you pass the tree or as long as you notice the tree, just know you're in my pony already. the Burmese River Bridge. Thank you. We have a Noah, so we just paid $1,900 to cross. considered to be the seventh longest floating bridge in the world. I'm not sure if there was any changes since then, but that's a fact as of 2016. Are you guys enjoying the road trip so far? Yes. I made a wish. <laughs> you made a wish? Are you crossing the bridge for the first time? You gotta drop a coin in the water, you know. <laughs> Dad, you remember in your um, fisherman days? <laughs> yeah. You see how fun this is, and you don't want to come on an adventure with me.
Barbies, na? Which part of Barbies you from, na, na? Which part? Which part of Barbies you from? Claremont Estate. Oh, Claremont Estate. Okay. We're going to check out one of dad's friends. I'll accompany dad. After which, Singh and the other crew are gonna head up to Spreadies to grab something to eat. And then we're gonna head down back to Blairmont. Yes. How much you Give me 10, man. Give me 10. Yeah, okay, so okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. How the sauce is this? Sausage, yeah. Mm. Okay, so much. Yeah. Mm. 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 Are we ready to move? Rock and roll, so it is.
between East Aurora and Europe. Could you kindly direct us where Auntie Savitri live? Yes. Uh huh. Okay, thank you. Not the other one. Oh, yeah. Right here. So, this is the house we come into. Good. We have a right. Uh, it's yeah, big right? Uh, slightly. It's a daddy's sister. Oh, yeah. Oh, so this is Nana's sister. I'm meeting her for the first time. <laughs> so it's always nice to stop and check out family once you're in the area, as ARD normally says. Stop here for a while and chat a little bit, and then we're gonna go. Let's go check out what the auntie them have in their backyard. Oh look, they have nice pepper tree. Nice pepper tree and over there you can see tomato. Or tomato. <laughs> yes, auntie. When you come Barbies, this is something you always find in people's yard. A lot of fruits, tree and vegetables. We have mangoes. Sopadillo. And this is how close you could get to a sopadillo tree. Oh, she's up there? Mm. Nice. Yeah, this one is unique. I've never seen one like that before. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this, how it looks big! Dana, nothing then. The snow big. We have to spray the tree them and get warm, right? I'm a spray the tree to let them get warm. Ooh, look at that. It's just sweet, man. Nobody more happy than you. <laughs> Let us adventure on into the wilderness. Look at another pepper tree. And more mangoes. Actually, 
So Raj saw me pick up this phone to vlog and he put on the plate. If I cannot tell you if she's from, it's a cop. But today anything cop. Hello, are you from Ithaca? Yes, I'm starving. How about you get no <gasps> How the food is this? Good. Better than George Tom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Better than that one, so it's not good too. <laughs> Give the viewers a review. So, I'm not a, a person who likes Chinese food. I mean, I would eat Chinese food, but I only like it in Cambodia and we try it. But this tastes real good. This is paper box Chinese fried rice. And if you can see, like a nice pop choy and plenty of vegetables. A lot of vegetables. Mm -hmm. Them Chinese up East Coast and George all the Trump. other places that I know, they don't have so much vegetables in their food. But this is for okay, so you would rate Corby's Chinese. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Great, wonderful. <laughs> so we sit down here listening to old time stories. We're gonna hang out here for some time and then we're gonna go on the road again. This house has plenty hammock. I'm in one. <laughs> for some of their land over here. This yard has a lot of pepper plants and I have a weakness when I go by people place. Like I just can see fruit tree and vegetables. Let me know down in the comment section if plants excites you guys. Cause it surely does for me. I just have a weakness for plants. Especially the ones you can root from. Look at this pepper plant. Oh my god, it's pretty much a different kind. I'm not sure what type of pepper is this. This is a red one here. The big pepper plant. Look at the banana tree, how oh, it's small and it's spearing. We just went and got ourselves some mangoes from the backyard. It's quite huge, huh? Oops! It's a kind of spice mango. Spice. All right, so we're finally leaving Blair Munch, and now we're heading down to another family member. Okay. Yeah, it's quite huge. Call it, um, what do you call it again? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, yes. Is it white or pink? Nice. Yeah, it pink. Okay. Okay. And it's sweet, it's very sweet. How much is it for the OR? Okay, so we're gonna take this for that. So we have mango. 
family member and look how many shallow these people are planting but, but look at this one bag shallow in the back for us and some balanji plants we can plant this when we go home look shallow there they have some celery at the back here and some more celery coming up here restaurant here in Burbies. We gotta come and get our paperwork for our Asian man. Even though we had it already. We always make sure we stop by this place and buy the thing home back. The food is good. It's on point. How much we have two? I need um savagery one to um one of the chicken fried rice, the roast chicken, mm -hmm. not fried chicken. Roast chicken. Mm -hmm. And you could buy um. So there's gonna be two roast chicken. Mm -hmm. And one chow mein. So this is Yin King restaurant. Yeah, one roast chicken fried rice. One roast chicken fried rice and uh, two roast chicken chow mein. Two roast chicken chow mein? Yeah. Uh, just that. Paperwork, yeah. Just in case you might be wondering the price for food, these are the prices here. Back home. We are making our 
way back to East Coast. It's five o'clock. We had a fun-filled day. We had a packed day. Everybody had a good time? Yep. Y'all enjoy the day? Yeah. Had fun? Yeah. Not fun. Not fun? Okay, well that means y'all gotta come out more often, right? Alright, so the older folks gotta come out more often. Yes. We're gonna try everything to bring them out. They don't like to come out much. So we're planning to make a stop at the little cottage that is located at Sierra Village. So we made a stop here at the little cottage. It's so beautiful. Wow. You can come here and take nice pictures. You get beautiful flowers. This is the little cottage. How cute it is. Do you like it? I really like the bear. There's two of them. There's one on the back and there's one on the side. Okay, well, let's go see the other one. Oh. Look, they have a little waterfall. <laughs> Do you see what it says here? It says, Welcome to Sunshine Garden. So normally, a lot of families would come here to take pictures on their way to Barbies or, you know, up my Coney side. They would stop here to take a few pictures because the scenery is very, very beautiful. And you can hear the chirping of birds in the background. I'm just giving you guys a, a 360 view of this little cottage. want to come in here you just pay five hundred dollars and somebody would allow you to come in and in case you realize that there's no one here there's a number on the gate that you could call 
so they could, you know, arrange the visit for you. So I saw a guy here who is gonna tell us um, how you can get in here. So I'm doing YouTube, right? And um, I just wanna let my viewers know like when they pass by here how they could get in, get in here? yeah okay so there's a number in the gate they could call that number and you live all the way to the back there yeah. correct yeah, yeah. yes all right and thank you yeah. i hope you guys had fun with us until next time take care and we'll see you in another